Welcome back to the channel. This is Ghost Down Thunder, using a full team here. We're at the Golem Island Satellite Dish, just in the main office here. Figured we'd clear it out nice and stealth here with a full team. So that's what we're doing here today. We got that full multicam just because we're in Golem Island and outside this space. Plenty of lush forestry and jungles and stuff, so you know, in either a multicam or multicam tropic can go a really long way on Golem. I'd actually suggest probably a, a tropic. Uh, whoa, you guys here. So let's just go up here. We shall move in. Yeah. We gotta be extra, extra cautious here. Get these guys on me too, man. Yo, I love the Scar Age. I'm so excited to be using it here today. So yeah, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you up on screen. Uh, the the guy who requested this uh, <laughs> this spotlight today. I'm so sorry, bro. I forgot your username. I, I read it on a whim. I said I would do it, and I had you in mind when I was recording this. And I'm sorry, I forgot your name. But looking good. Yeah, we're trying to serve up some pie around these corners. You guys get what I'm saying here, right? So there we go. Yes, sir. All right. So I'm here coughing and shit. Yo, these guys are all over the place, man. Let's go find these guys here. Yeah, back in here. Ooh, yeah, so seeker here. All right, so let's start off with you. Knife you down. Eat those blades, buddy. So brutal, dude. Yo, I probably would never, like, stab a dude in real life. I gotta be honest, man. Like, if I was um, a ghost <laughs> and I was in this position right here, I'd probably just shoot the guy in the head. <laughs> Like, to the, the, the whole idea of, like, fucking knifing someone, like, ooh, buddy, that's so, ugh. I don't know. Maybe you guys think I'm too soft, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Like, the idea of knifing someone, it's fucked, man. Like, y human bodies aren't meant to be knifed. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's, let's be real here. I mean, not that they're meant to be shot either. It's just, it's kind of messed up, right? Come on, just keep looking. Yeah, someone's inside. Oh, okay, my guys are here. We're good. Yeah, you know what it is? It's these steps upstairs, this floor. There's guys walking around and talking, so it's, I can hear them. And I can hear them quite clearly. So let's go up this way. We know that these guys can be around here. And, uh, yeah, the team's all with me. Hell yeah, buddies. So yeah, let's go. Just bump into each other. <laughs> Yeah, knife you down. Uh, I didn't expect the first couple kills to be knives, but that's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to work. Let's go this way. All right. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been in this area, so it feels actually really fresh to me. This is not one of my go-to spots, I gotta say. Like the satellite dish area. Like, I, I think it's heavily underrated because there's also these little offices and stuff. So you know what, like, you guys need a place to go to right here. A nice little automatic fucking pow, pow, pow. That's probably the way to go, in my opinion. <laughs> that way, you know, you for sure are going to kill him. But anyways, this part's going to get a little harder now, because now we're outside here. So let's just um, drone it real quickie, and we shall see what's going on out here. So well, let's do that. And it's looking good so far. Yeah, there's a heavy up top there. Nice chubby little heavy. Okay. So you know what? I'm gonna go up this way at the back and go up those ladders there. Yeah, those ladders are right there. And then we'll make our way up top, pick off the snipers. And then uh, that's it. We'll call it a fucking day, boys and girls, okay? So settle down here. Fuck, look, there's a little bowl of cereal here for you to eat, dude. You gotta eat your fucking cereals, man. Yo, honestly, look at how sexy this scar is, man. Such a gorgeous gun. I'll give you guys the color palette. Pretty sure it's just like a tan mag, a tan optic, and then the rest of it's just like khaki. So, you know, you get that that classic fucking scar look, my dude. All right. So, yeah, let's move in this, this way here. There seems to be someone there. Yes. Okay. He's glitching through. Oh, I think that was two feet uh, that just slid past each other. I don't know. Maybe there's two guys here. Maybe it's just a glitch. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's take down this heavy, my guy. All right, let's take you down here. So just no, fucking... In my where is he? Huh. Come on. There you are. I heard mm. 
eat those fucking Shit, five five six NATO routes, boy. Is it five five six? I don't know. You guys let me know. You remind me, man. My 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 memory's a little foggy right now, dude. I'm a little silly today. Okay, so let's check this way. Clear. Yeah, looking good. Next side here. Clear. What about you? There's fucking railings in my way. All right. Yes. Clear. 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 Okay. So let's um. Yeah, let's go up these steps here. Why not? And we gotta go get those guys all at the top of this dish. So yeah, so far it's going so well. I'm loving the Scar H, man. I love the uh, the MK17. And um, I, I'm not a big fan of the Shorty, I'd say. I know a lot of people mention the Shorty too. It's a great one, but I'm not a big fan. The Assault is more my taste, uh, especially going loud. But still, I would say the MK17, just the standard uh, assault rifle. And then as well, the Scout variant, uh, the Scout DMR variant are my two go-to picks for the uh, for the Scar family in this game, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, just the standard ASR is my favorite. I gotta say that, man. Right. So yeah, yeah, and I'm like a broken record with that. I might, I might mention this again. <laughs> Who knows, buddy? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, definitely the uh, standard scars my go-to. Okay, so let's move up and clear out the top of this uh, satellite dish. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well so far. And um, you know. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of like always doing only stealth. So, you know, I wanted to do stealth in the daytime. I wanted to spice it up. Uh, sorry, what I meant to say was I'm not a big fan of only doing stealth in the night. I want to do daytime stealth too, okay? So that's also why we're doing this. And I think that this base is kind of an interesting base. This uh, little uh, Golem Island uh, satellite dish uh, base place, whatever the fuck they call it. It's got a nice little uh, mixed bag of, um, you know, some enemy snipers and shit, so. Just make sure no one else is near him, but it's looking good. Take him down now. Nice, buddy. All right. So yeah, if you're looking for some nice, um, interesting, I'd say, like interesting little base, little location for you to, to check out, I'd say go with this place, man. This is not one of my go-to places, but definitely a little interesting vibes I get from this one, you know? Again, it's maybe not the heaviest in terms of like ground traffic, because a lot of it's just like dudes on catwalks, but I think you get some fairly immersive play. Beautiful. And, um, I think that uh, the oppressors disappeared on me now, actually. So let's move this way up here. Yeah, there's a heavy there. Where's he at? Oh, he's back there. All right, so we gotta go with this heavy. So I'm gonna move in a little closer because I can't get him from here. And then we'll do a little Amaras drone and we'll scan this whole place. It's like after we clear these guys out, yeah, over right here. I need to make sure. Oh yeah, they discovered a body. All right, let's get this guy. Ooh, you can do that to me, huh? All right, let's move up a bit. And say goodnight to you. Jesus. There, okay. Good job, boss. Gotta get your buddies up here. See one more guy in the catwalk. Don't need you, don't really use you, so just ignore you and let's get him. Nice trooper, center mass, fuck. Of course, gotta reload at the wrong times, but there you go, buddy. Let's get your friend up here, and that's it. Sit down. Okay, so this satellite dish is looking good, man. This Scar H is a very effective tool, I'd say. And, um, I mean, really, you can get by with most things here. I'd say DMR is probably your best bet for a little base like this, but you can get by with an ASR just like that. See that, man? You can get by. So, yeah, let's, uh, do a quick little peekage. And um, all our guys are with us. So I'm going to just quickly Amaras drone the uh, base here. Just because I can't get good visuals here. And uh, this will at least allow us to uh, mark mark the targets that are left. All right, and see where they're at. And um, I think, uh, you know, Pathfinder class is just a great tool to have. Even just for stuff like this, right? So anyways, buddy. Yeah, see, we have a few targets all the way at the top there. I count one, two, three, four, five, and then a six on the right there. You see him right there? Yeah, there's six guys. And then there's obviously a few in the uh, outside the base there, like a little patrol. They're not part of it, but yeah, the meat, the meat potatoes area of this little dish area is clear. We just gotta get that front side, so let's go do that now. All right, should be, should be a good time. Um, and I believe the way to go down there is just to, let's just quickly go this way. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to just take the same ladder that I took going up and then cut around this way. So yeah, there's a generator up here. I had no idea. 
Okay. Well, that's good to know. I mean, I don't really need to worry about it, to be honest, because, like, there's not really anything here that I'm... Again, that I need to worry about. I think there's an anti-air gun somewhere here, but, I mean, I'm not using a helicopter today, so it's, like, not a big deal to me. I could just leave that generator on. I'm sure at nighttime it would be good. Yeah, very smart, actually. Probably start at the top and, uh, you know, remove that generator, buddy. And then do your little night ops and shit. This actually might be fun as Sam Fisher, I gotta say. There's a lot of different ways you can approach a lot of these areas. And this is stuff you guys know. This is stuff I've mentioned before. But I think that's what, again, brings brings us all back to Breakpoint. And again, Wildlands, is, of course, too, right? Um, fuck, come on. Get the hell on the right ladder there. Come on, there you go. Um, but I would, again, I'd argue that Wildlands is just a lot better in terms of the world and atmosphere. And sure, breakpoints, gameplay, gunplay, a lot better, obviously. Customization, a lot better, obviously. But when it comes to the world, man, when it comes to actually feeling immersed, Wildlands got you for that, man. None of this shit here, none of this, like, faux futuristic bullshit that they got going on here. This little Apple shop. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Even that's bullshit. It's making me, it's ruining the visuals of my video, man. All right, so we got to clear out the rest of these guys here. So... We have one parking lot, and we have full of uh, Russians. So, we gotta take down these Russians. I count five of them. Let's go back around this way. And... We will, uh... Yeah, it's looking good up there, man. Look at these guys. Hurry up, boys. Yeah, this game can look gorgeous sometimes, man. It's good to appreciate it sometimes. Let's drop down here. I think this'll hurt me. <laughs> Is that a, like, a low enough drop? What do you think? Eh, should be fine. <laughs> just a little injury there, Nomad. Maybe just a little sprain on the ankle, just a slight sprain. Alright, let's move in. A little laid down here. So let's see how this goes here. Get these, uh, let's take care of these Russians here. Okay, so we have one oppressor at the back here, one seeker in the foreground. I will mark the oppressor for them, and I'll take the seeker. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Nice. Nice and clean, my dude. Oh, rocket gunner. Wow. Oh, nice, buddy. You see the teammates just start ripping on his head there? Wow, man. But we're opening up here now. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Yo, did you guys see Vasily fucking ripping those rounds into that dude's helmet, man? Wow, that was crazy. It was just crazy to see that. It was just like, thum, thum, thum. But anyways, man, we're getting picked up again here. And we can finish off these guys. Nice little loud skirmish to uh, finish off the day here. Hell yeah, buddy. Is there a secret back here? Yeah, there you are. Nice. Okay. Where are these guys at? Take the suppressor off. Do this nice and loud here. This is a yeah, Scar H spotlight, so let's do a little bit of loud gunfights, man. Let's gotta find these guys. I feel like they could surround us. You keep bumping into me, man. I feel like they're gonna surround us here. So let's have a look. Where could they be? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, 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 where? Back here? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They're accurate. These, these Russians getting a nice little piece of my head here. Okay. Oh, he's coming in on me. Oh, wow. Damn, dude. The teammates really, really, really helped me out here, man. You're good where you are. Hold. We'll stay in place. All right, so we're all nice and healed up here. All these enemies have been taken down. Absolute fun time, I gotta say. Love using the scar. Always a good time. So yeah, man, check those. Check that pinned comment for the outfit as well as the loadout. That right there is the Golem Island uh, satellite dish once again. Rally on my position. Let's have a race and see who gets here first. And yeah, they actually like ran here. He just slid in. All right, yeah, fix it. You're the last one, my dude. Come on, boy. Let's go get some dinner. <laughs> All right, guys. 
Let's shoot these guys for some food here. Hmm. Eat some dinner, call it a day, and leave you on your merry way. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and take it easy.